Welcome to our lecture online. Now the one method that always works on any sort of graph is what we call the table of values method. In other words, you plug in certain values for x and you get the corresponding value for y. Then you plot those points and then you simply connect the dots. But when we're dealing with a quadratic equation, it's best to start with the vertex. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to use the axis of symmetry or the x-coordinate of the vertex to find out what point to start with. So we want a bunch of values for x, but the first one that we find is the x value of the vertex. And of course, to find that, you get minus b over 2a, which also gives you the axis of symmetry. And in this case, we learned when we did that from the previous video that x equals 1 because b is equal to negative 4, so negative times the negative 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And so that will be the first value that we use on our table of values. To find the corresponding value for y, we plug the value x equals 1 into our equation, and notice that we have 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 5, which equals 3. That means we get y equals 3, and those are the coordinates of the vertex. x equals 1, y equals 3, so where the two come together, this is where we have 1, 3, which is what we call the vertex of the parabola. Now we also realize that since a is positive, the parabola will open upward, and we might as well go ahead and realize that the y-intercept is equal to the value of c. c in this case is equal to 5. That means that when x equals 0, y equals 5 is definitely one of the points. Now, notice that if this is the x value of the vertex, I want a, at least a couple of points that are greater than that and a couple of points that are less than that. So we're going to go to the right and to the left of the x value where we have the vertex. So when x is equal to 2, we plug that in here. y when x equals 2 is equal to 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 5. So this is equal to... Uh, uh, not 4, uh, 2 squared is 4 times 2, which is 8. That's 8 minus 8 plus 5 equals 5. So when x equals 2, y equals 5. Then we plug in the value when x equals 3. So y when x equals 3 is equal to 2 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 5. So this is 9 times 2, which is 18 minus 12 plus 5. 18 minus 12 is 6, plus 5 is equal to 11. So when x equals 3, y is equal to 11. And then we go to the other direction. Now we make x smaller. When x equals 0, well, when x equals 0, we simply get the constant c, which is equal to 5. That is where we have the y-intercept. And then we do one more value when y, when x is equal to negative 1, so we have 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 plus 5. So this gives us 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 4, plus 5, which is equal to 11. And notice when x equals negative 1, y equals 11. Well, we kind of knew that because we have that axis of symmetry. So we go one unit to the right. We get 5, we go 2 units to the right, we get 11. We go 1 unit to the left, we get 5. We go 2 units to the left, we get 11. There should be perfect symmetry there, but if we didn't know, it, if we didn't know that, that's quite okay. We will find out soon enough. Now we have five points to plot. We have the point 1, 3. We have the point 2, 5, so 2 and 5, which is right over here. And then we have the point 3, 11. 3 and 11, that would be way up here somewhere. And then on the left side, we have 1, 3, then we have 0, 5, and negative 1, 11, which goes way up here as well. So notice we now have these five points, which we can connect with a nice smooth curve like this. And there is our parabola by using a table of values. And all we really needed was five, and that's sufficient to draw a fairly decent parabola. And that is how it's done.